Good morning. I'd like to talk to you uh, a little bit now about your uh, multi-genre research project in terms of focusing. And focusing is a concept you're going to run into a lot in W233 when you look at a research project and a research topic. And the goal is always to do a, a small project very well as opposed to a large project poorly. Okay. And um, so the concept of focus is you have this broader topic, which you already had in the previous unit where you were uh, analyzing a blog, okay, doing your rhetorical analysis. And now you've got to move on to a multi-genre research project in which, you take a, in which you take a small piece of that topic, okay, and narrow it down, narrow it down to a, uh, uh, a focus where you can really hone in on, kind of razor sharp eyes, all right, to get to a, a specific topic that you can research and talk about in an intelligent fashion, okay? So, um, for example, I was working with a student and uh, her blog that she liked and did the rhetorical analysis on was a cooking blog, okay? Great, cooking blog. And I think specifically it may have been like oven cooking or something, all right? Uh, but you can't write a whole research paper on cooking, okay? So I started working with her and we started to make a list together, okay? And this list um, started off, well, you know, what are some of the issues about cooking that concern you? Or what are some of the issues about cooking that really uh, interest you? What are some of the problems in cooking? What are some of the things you're looking into about cooking, okay? So the first thing we wrote down is we wrote down uh, artificial sweeteners. What about them? Okay, you know, you can bake breads, all kinds of stuff using artificial sweeteners uh, instead of uh, real sweeteners, okay? So, you know, what are the pros and cons of that? That could be a topic. Okay, that's a focus topic. We took this larger topic, cooking, you even oven cooking, narrowed it a little bit, and then we even narrowed it down to artificial sweeteners. What about them? Okay. Or uh, whole grains. What about whole grains? Which, frankly, if you make all wheat bread or all wheat pasta, it doesn't taste very good, okay? But it's really healthy for you. So, you know, what could you do about uh, grain, you know, whole grain cooking? How could you make your cooking more healthy? In other words, you know, when you're making, when you're baking, that kind of thing. Uh, so we looked at that for a bit. And then we uh, looked at another top, another narrower topic. Um, what about health foods? Okay, what about organic foods? You know, are, are they worth the cost? Uh, what's their impact on the farmers? Uh, you know, they cost more. Are they really better? That kind of thing. So there's a focus topic, okay? And then we stumbled across olive oil. All right. Uh, I think first we got to red wine. You know, red wine is it good for you, bad for you, that kind of thing. You know, and then we got down to olive oil, and I really like the idea of olive oil. You know, you can use olive oil cooking all kinds of ways. All right, and and olive oil is a fascinating topic because you have this. Uh, you know, you have the uh, where does it come from? You know, Italy you have all these different varieties of olive oil. You know, you go to the sh shelf at the store and. You know, there's light virgin, and there's 100% virgin, and there's this and that and the other, and, and they're different colors even. Some are pale yellow, and some are dark green. And, and so you could have this very, because this is a multi-genre project, all right, you guys have very, very vivid images. Uh, I'm sure there's just tons of stuff out there on the web, uh, probably even videos and stuff about olive oil, cooking with olive oil. So I think it'd be really easy, easy to make a, uh, uh, take this broader topic of cooking and narrow it down to olive oil. So see what we did? We had this broad topic, like the top of the funnel, top of a funnel, and then we went, made this list, and got narrower and narrower and narrower. And we finally found a topic that's, that's very visual, uh, that's very historic, okay, that you know there's going to be a lot of research on, that kind of thing. So that's what you need to do with your own blog from last uh, uh, unit. You need to look at what the topic of the blog was, say, okay, uh, what about it? You know, what do I really like here? What am I really concerned with? What am I really interested in? And, how, and, and make sure it's going to be visual. It needs to be a topic that you know you may able to find lots of visuals for, okay, find some audio for, go to YouTube, that kind of thing. And as you're kind of trying to focus your topic, you start your research, all right? You start, uh, you know, go to YouTube. Use YouTube, you know, as Google. Don't go to Google first. Go to YouTube first, okay? And then once you get narrower and narrower and find some stuff that you can use, then you go to the library databases and you say, okay, what's the research? What is the actual factual research about this topic, okay? And I want to make sure you use plenty of library resources because I guarantee you in W233, you're going to have to be doing this. So the whole goal of 131 is to move you successfully to 233, plus help you work on your critical thinking skills, help you work on your research skills. Uh, uh, and if you want to know the truth, let's have a good time, okay? I, I love this multi-genre project. I'm looking at your rhetorical analysis this week. I'm sorry, it's going to take me a while. Uh, there's a lot of them, and I want to look at them carefully. They're a lot of fun. This, uh, this course is a lot more fun than it used to be, I guarantee you. And I still think all these skills are very, very useful. You're still doing the critical thinking. You're still doing the research. You're still writing supporting arguments, okay? 
Uh, you're learning how to cast about to find information, not just make up your mind quickly about something. And you're learning how to do presentations. You're learning how to communicate. You're learning how to work together. You're learning how to work in a learning community. Uh, when you go out and quote the real world, you'll be working in a business community, okay, and a lot of these skills apply. So they're not just hard writing skills, okay, they're a variety of skills that move you along very nicely into college education and, of course, because I teach W233 also, I'm moving you towards success in W233. So, okay, I'm rambling on enough. You know how to get a hold of me. If you have questions, please do.